HIV and AIDS AIDS or acquired immune deficiency syndrome is caused by the human immunodeficiency virus or HIV AIDS is the final stage of an HIV infection which targets the immune system of the body particularly the helper T cells When bacteria or viruses invade the body to cause an infection WBCs are activated including helper T cells which assist in the body's defense in two ways One by secreting chemicals known as cytokines which attract other WBCs such as T cells and macrophages to the site of infection thereby destroying the invading bacteria or virus and second by stimulating the proliferation of other WBCs called B cells which are antibodies which recognize the same invading bacteria or virus in a subsequent attack and attach themselves to the invading organism thereby mounting an immune response During an HIV infection the virus primarily infects the helper T cells making multiple copies of itself which then go on to infect other helper T cells destroying a lot of them in the process thereby weakening the immune system this makes the body vulnerable to other infections which are collectively known as opportunistic infections some of the common opportunistic infections associated with an hiv infection include 1 meningitis encephalitis 2 pneumonia especially pneumocystis carinae or tb 3 chronic diarrhea caused by parasitic infections 4 cancers such as carposi sarcoma and lymphomas a person is said to have aids when is infected by the hiv virus and has at least one opportunistic infection transmission of hiv is possible through the following routes one unprotected sex semen vaginal or blood to contaminated blood or blood products 3 shared drug injection needles blood 4 childbirth blood amniotic or vaginal fluids 5th breastfeeding breast milk treatment of hiv infection is possible through the prompt initiation of antiretroviral therapy which decreases the viral load in the body although not completely eliminating the virus from it some of the commonly used antiretroviral drug classes include nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors protease inhibitors and integrase inhibitors which interfere with the creation 
assembly and spread of new viruses and entry inhibitors which prevent the virus from attaching to the cell surface to gain entry. A combination of these drug classes routinely prescribed by physicians to treat HIV is known as HART or highly active antiretroviral therapy. Efficacy of treatment is tested through regular blood tests which measure the CD4 count or the number of helper T cells in the blood sample provided. Treatment of opportunistic infections is specific to the type of infection encountered. For example, respiratory infections such as pneumonia or TB are treated with antibiotic therapies for the same. Prevention of HIV infection is possible through the following measures. 1. Avoiding unprotected sex through the use of latex condoms and dental dams. 2. Limiting sex to only a single partner who is uninfected. 3. Limiting drug or alcohol intake, which may put the individual at risk for unsafe sexual practices. 4. Avoiding the sharing of injectable needles. 5. Regular testing for the HIV status of both partners.